The Panopticon, this, this one's a favorite back when I was a TA. If we ever ran out of stuff to talk about, I would just describe the Panopticon and find a way to tie it in and what's going on and, and the conversation would pick up again every time. It's a model for a prison designed by Jeremy Bentham in the late 1700s and it's how many prisons actually were built that a small number of guards can watch a large number of inmates efficiently and effectively. There's a guard tower in the middle that's surrounded by rings of cells. Of course, prisoners can see the tower, but because of how things are arranged and how the lighting is set up, they, they can't can't see inside the tower. At the same time as a prisoner, you would know that there's hundreds of you and only a couple of them. So at any given moment, they're probably not watching you, but they could be watching you at any given moment. So you have to always act like you're always being watched right now. Over time, that sense of surveillance becomes internalized and you start to do it to yourself. You become your own cop. Now here's where it gets deep and metaphorical. I mean, you know, hopefully. Everything is a panopticon. We all live in a massive prison. And our whole society is a, is a goddamn prison, according to Foucault. Who is Foucault? He's a French philosopher. Beginning in the 70s, he studied the, the history of prisons, including the concept of the Panopticon, as part of his broader interest in, in how power works in Western societies. And the Panopticon became this metaphor for social control more broadly, not just in prisons that are built that way, but like in our whole society. Because again, it's one big prison, right? He wrote about how other institutions were built using a similar kind of architecture, like military bases and schools and hospitals. Pretty disturbing to think that schools and hospitals have a lot in common architecturally with prisons and more than just architecturally. They just imagine the potential for using this idea to understand what's going on with things like CCTV cameras everywhere, with social media, with the GIS on our smartphones, the, the list goes on. And now the Foucault fans, or, or stands as the kids would say, are, are all mad at me for oversimplifying Michelle's ideas like this, but you can explain the Panopticon in two minutes.